when you are a child, all your senses are like open and you don't care about other people is going to say it. you don't care about anything it's like if you like that you're going to keep it with you and for sure they like they have that, that curiosity they are curious about nature they are the principal bridge to get the community because when you are thinking how to get the olds or the families, it's kind of difficult. And of course, they are working, they are thinking about other things, and they think sometimes that you want to go and tell them how to live or how to, to, to work and have their house, and nobody likes that. But when the kids come to you and tell you, about what they learn in that way it's not like they come and tell you what to do the kids go to the family and they tell the mom what they were doing at the school what they learn and they start to act in that way and sometimes they when they see something wrong in their families in their fathers or in their sisters and brothers they tell them why it's wrong and what is the right way to do it. So you can see it is maybe with too many years that you can see like how environmental education is impact a community. It's like a web. So you cannot like separate the things like in parts. This is social, this is science, this is ecology or this is religion. Everything is environment, right? So you have to to take that advantage. And when you use music, or when you use theater, or when you use like art, perform everything related with one topic, like in this case, environment, they are going to go in that direction. But when you are in in contact and you put your hands to work you're going to to have like a good connection or at least to start to connect with nature. Butterflies are like magic. Er er everyone likes a butterfly. Everyone always, when they are walking and they see a butterfly, is like, I am a butterfly. And the kids are the same. So, and they, they, they have in that moment the opportunity to hold and touch and be in co contact with the butterfly and when you work with animals too when you are in, in having that contact with animals for you is something that you really are going to appreciate like at the beginning if you can sensitize like the kids and they are already like aware they want more but then they start to act and they start, they start to apply and when you go then and you start to see how they act and how they talk and what, what they want and they start to tell you like yeah I see that person like is throwing the garbage there and I have to go and pick up the garbage and I was like okay yes well that's great and the idea is to Maybe you can go and tell the person and tell him why it's important to take care of nature and, and they do it. So, but if you cut that in, or you just do it like one year in two years and then you cut it, maybe some kids are not going to have the same impact, but for sure some of them are going to have it and they are going to have a great behavior for nature. I just feel like I cannot leave them. I need to do more for them. And it's for that that always I'm thinking about more ideas. It's like they already are aware, but they want more. They want to learn more. So that's, I feel like a great responsibility with them. And and that's great for me, it's like so grateful 
I'm so grateful to be with them and today gave me the opportunity to teach them. Today gave me that attention in that moment. For me it's like, thank you. It's very nice. I really feel like I need to do it like better and better and better just for them. Yes.